Okay, Charles LeBlanc here. We're here for today in uh, Blogger Stoppers. The second uh, episode. The first one was if you've been harassed or attacked by the members of the Fredericton Police Force, email me at omazon at yahoo.com. We want your information. We don't want your name. We just want the info so we can let the public know about this so-called Fredericton Police Force. We're in Odell Park. You have a look, you've seen over there, kids going down sliding, families walking their pets. Uh, people are relaxed in, in Odell Park. But there's another <clears throat> sad issue uh, as a matter of fact, Adele Park was known, uh, whatever, never mind that. But there's a lot of people with alcohol problems that comes here in Adele Park to escape and uh, do their, have their drink. And sometimes they pass out here overnight. Last week, a buddy of mine named John Crabb was announced that he, uh, the public, the, the police announced to the media, not me, they don't acknowledge me as media anymore, that John Crabb was missing. Uh, I knew, I know John for about 10 years, nice guy, quiet, don't say much. You've seen him uptown. But the problem we're having right now is John Crabb came from the shelter. Uh, the Ferdinand Police Force, oh, I'm sorry, the racist members of the Ferdinand Police Force, um, are known not to really carry on on the search when it comes to the less fortunate of, of the city. Uh, Isabel Flowers, I Isabel Flowers was missing last year. Her, she was last seen at the liquor store in the north side. And uh, three months later, she was found behind, <laughs> behind the uh, liquor store, near the St. John River. Excuse me, I think if Isabel Flowers would have been from the Forest Hill area, the police would have done a proper search. Ricky Champion was announcing what he was missing in a big building. At the end, he was found about weeks later in the basement of the same building. So the police are, they announced last year, through Barry Midnight, God bless his soul, uh, that there'll be a double standard policy in this city. One for the rich, one for the poor. So, I'm sorry for the ranting a little bit too long, my friend, John Crabb, I was told by somebody, the cops went over their place and he said to the cops twice that John Crabb might be in this area, in Odell Park. Odell Park is a very, very huge territory. Now, did the police do a search? Nah, because he's not He's not rich. He's not one of the elite. So again, I hope I'm wrong, but John Crabb, his dead body is in this area. Should the police grab a dog and go, go searching? Should, well, was there a proper search? Of course not. Because we have the most racist police force in Canada. They let it, the only police force that singles out the less fortunate. So, bottom line is the Fredericton Police Force needs to do a proper search of Adele Park and ask the public if they want to join in the search for John Crabb. If you see John Crabb, don't call the cops, they don't give a damn. Email me, old Mazon. O-L-D, Mazon, M-A-I-S-O-N, at yahoo.com. As usual, we don't want your name, we just want your information, and because these bastards at the Fresno Police Force won't do nothing about it. Email me, and let's find John.